forgot I turned you on. How about we put you down a little bit? There we go. So I'll scare the shit out of me. <laughs> What's up, Nate? Chippery, if you're still here, was good, my friend. Welcome to the stream, Hat Kid. Marcy, it is indeed Marth. Marth time. <laughs> Moth time. Probably not going to be on the stream. I got a bow lore to make. Also, my opinion that you could debate about Choo Choo from Bow is the best critter ever. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Anagale. And, uh, can't argue with that. What's up, Haunting? Good to see ya. Star drop, indeed. Moth. Hope y'all had a good Saturday so far. Work wasn't too bad today. Except for the fact that I had to deal with a uh, injured thumb. Wednesday night I worked out and I was doing some push-ups and I use these push-up bars that lift me eh, maybe about six inches off the ground and the grip on the right hand one is ripped so unfortunately as I was going down for my first push-up I slipped and I fell forward and I caught myself with my right hand and I landed on my thumb and it kind of bent further than it should. I didn't break anything, but it sucked regardless. So having to work with that was a lot of fun. <laughs> but other than that, I've been pretty peachy. I'm gonna watch both the stream and drawing. Sounds good. Hell, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Sometimes I'll catch a, I'll catch a stream from somebody that I'm following, and um, while I'm working on stuff or drawing or something, I don't know. There's something relaxing about that. Or maybe it's the music that's playing right now. It's a very nice, soothing little melody. It just relaxes me. It just kind of chills me out. Now, bye bye. I'm gonna make Battle of War lore. All right, Anagale, have a good night. I have like four more days of school left. Nice, very nice. I hope you have a good last four days of school. Hey, Spook's here. Yes, it is time to continue with the Moth games. Now that I think about it, I haven't gone live on my channel for a long while. I, I, yeah, I think so. I. I mean, I know so. Hell, the last live event that you've had that I was in was that time you speed ran a part of Hat in Time. That was like a year ago or something. That was like back when I first met you. I have done nothing yet seek and destroy. You know what? That's a good day. Seeking and destroying. For me, I do that every day. I seek food and destroy it with my jaws. <laughs> oh, what's up, Marla? Good to see you. You also have speed ran it a hit last year. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I beat the base game, but I didn't. I didn't do everything and DLC like I said I would only because that would have taken forever that's why I didn't do it I mean the base game took me six hours to be well that's because I'm a scrub I have a three-day weekend and all I've done is play a hit and cry over fan fiction you know what that's a solid weekend that's a solid weekend I've had weekends where I played video games and cried over fan. Have I? 
I have been moved by fanfiction before. I don't think I've cried, though. I've cried to video games. Oh, I've done that several times. <laughs> but, uh, don't think I've shed any tears over fanfiction yet. So if you know of a real tearjerker, hey, send it my way. I literally just woke up. My eyes haven't been open more than five minutes. Oh, damn. Well, if you want to participate and take note of the Moth game, you will have to keep your eyes open. Didn't take me very long to beat the main A hit and the DLCs. But it's because you're the superior gamer out of the two of us. But with that being said, let's uh, go ahead and jump into the game. So as I mentioned before, this game is only in full screen, so... I apologize if I don't see your comment on time. I'm not ignoring you. I am simply engrossed in the game. But with that being said, let's continue with our good friend Elytris. I know they say Alatris, but screw it. I say Elytris. That sounds cuter. I think last we left off, it was right before the... Uh... I thought it was right before going to the party, but apparently not. Okay, I guess it did. I guess that wasn't a safe one. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay, baby? <laughs> oh my god, look at her go. <laughs> She's freaking out. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what's up, Sock Bat? Welcome to the stream, my dude. How you been? Yes, Snake, you are the true gamer. <laughs> she sees it. <laughs> hey, I'm not breaking the bots, alright? She's doing this on her own. Oh, now she's frozen. Okay, now I might have broken Elytris. Okay, she's fine. See? She's fine. Watch. If I, I can't do that again. See? She's fine. Have I discovered a potential glitch in the game that could lead to speedruns? Alatris? Alatris, I know you're here. I just want to talk. So I know we went through this cutscene already, but we'll, we'll watch it again. Alatris is here? And he wants to talk? Yes, but with what mouth? I, I fail to see with what mouth he's talking with. Oh no. What did he say? That I ran off yesterday. One of his friends told him how awkward I was. Alatris, we've we we have we have been through this already. He's your friend. Talk to him. Maybe he just wants to borrow a book or something. Wait, moths read? Spook, can you uh, enlighten me on this? Is this why moths go for lamps all the time? Because they just need light to read their books? That would blow my mind. Alatris. Hey, Don Dad. What happened yesterday? Uh. You trust Don Dax. He's your good friend. Don Dax wouldn't just abandon me if I made a mistake. Asking me so many questions. I wanted to answer them, but the words just got caught in my throat. Um, the Heimlich maneuver would probably get them out, among other things. Oh, Alatris. Every time I thought of an answer, it didn't seem any good. Yep, been there. And by the time I thought of something, the conversation was moving on and everything was happening so fast that- Alatris! Read. I'm not upset at you. I just want to understand. Well, your friends seemed cool, but they were asking a lot of questions. I guess I got overwhelmed, so I panicked and ran. Even though I have wings. 
I'm sorry I ran off without telling you. I probably should have let you know. You know, y'all, th th this probably would have been avoided if y'all had cell phones. Just saying. I don't know, do bugs have cell phones? Uh, I read a lot. I have a mini library, not so mini. Ah, okay, so moths can read. That has been confirmed. <laughs> what types of books do moths read? Personally, I have a lot of ghost stories and fantasy, but I also have a surprising amount of educational books. I'm surprised you didn't say that you have books about lamps. Or maybe you have picture books of just lamp pictures. It's okay. Well, actually, it's not okay. I'm sorry I pushed you so hard yesterday. Down the stairs. <laughs> oh, God, no. Not poor Alatris. Oh, now they got me saying Alatris. Wait. What? When did you push me down the stairs? Was I really that drunk last night? I just... You were already doing so well. I thought it wouldn't hurt to have you meet some of my friends. Oh, it hurt. It hurt. You tell me that it's hard for you to talk to people, but sometimes I forget just how tough it is. It's fine. Uh, I mean, thank you. Yeah, that I mentioned it. Where's Elytris's mouth? I'm assuming it's under that, uh, that neck floof. Is that what that's called? Spook, can you enlighten me on this? I'm going to ask you a lot of questions about moths. I don't want to see you stay home every day. I'm just not sure how to help. Alcohol. I want to get better, and I know they'll understand. I know you want to do something more, but to be honest, just being there for me helps a lot. Really? Yeah. You help distract me from my anxious thoughts. Like the fact that you don't have any mouth, and yet you can still say words to me. How does that work? Sometimes my mind jumps to conclusions until everything becomes terrifying. Maybe when I get too stuck in my head, I'll tell you when I start to get too anxious. When I do, could you help me remember that most of those thoughts are from my anxiety? Not being dismissive of my fears, but just reminding me that things will be okay? Either that or give me a slap on the head. Knock, guys! Knock out of it! Get out of it, Elytris! D don't smack your head, friends in the- uh, Don't smack your head along your friends. No, don't smack your friends on their head. <laughs> I can't talk to them. I traded my pillow for a lamp encyclopedia. I think that's a pretty good trade, honestly. I read nonfiction for the most part. You know what, Slugbat? I don't really read all that much. I watch a lot more like YouTube. That's how I get content, I guess. But I find that most of the things that I consume on YouTube, or even if I do read things, it's also like nonfiction subjects. Like it could be anything from like sports to the history of how this video game was made or a speedrunning video. Yeah, I, I kind of, I'm kind of the same way. Who needs a book on lamps when I have so many lamps to enjoy? I guess that's true. I have Rise Again, and to see this game of gaslighting Pepsi? Oh, Peps. <laughs> I shall see to be high dish. I ate a pizza. That's delicious. To be fair, they are also standing on two legs and wearing clothes. Ah. Most of the fiction I consume is through video games. I don't even really watch movies or TV shows. You know, for me nowadays, that seems to be true. I used to watch more like animated shows on Netflix and stuff or whatever my friends recommend to me. But lately, yeah, I've, I've been playing a lot more video games. I can do that. I can't be there all the time, you know? Think you can work on this by yourself too? Like I said, if you had a cell phone, that would help. Yes, you think you can. You are the train that could. The thing joined us believes in me, so... I think I can? I mean, it's gonna be tough, right? But yesterday wasn't so bad until... well... 
When I get really anxious, I always jump to conclusions. If I can recognize those thoughts, it would probably help. That's a great idea. And when you're with me, I could help you practice recognizing them for when you're on your own. I... Should we start practicing now, or... I mean... Maybe we should just relax for the rest of today. I mean, this was a lot, and we have plenty of time to work on this later. Sure. We could watch Butterfly Monarch Bride again? <laughs> Haven't we watched that, like, seven times by now? Hey, Dondax, fuck you, alright, dude? It's a classic. Alright? Don't diss Butterfly Monarch Bride. It's a wonderful series. Hey, you were the one who introduced this movie to me. Don't act like you don't know all the lines by heart. Fucking nerd. I actually find Don Dex's voice to be very soothing. I like his voice. It's got that nice, deep growl that's just really soothing to listen to. Also, it's been days. <laughs> okay, this is where we left off. I'm so nervous, but it's going to be fine. I'm going to a party, and I'm going to have fun. And I'm going to get drunk. Uh, mangas and YouTube are my usual go-to. Ah, I see Star Drop, I see. Uh, not a big t movie, TV show person, so yeah, it's mostly books, games, and YouTube. Blueberry watches anime, animations, video games, and fan fiction. You know, with fan fiction, it has to be really something that I find and is interesting within the first few sentences, which is really hard for me to get into, unfortunately. <laughs> Dish, I don't think they're that technologically advanced yet. I mean, I guess so, given how Elytris's house looks like at the moment. Once I tried to read one of Prince's law books and my head hurt afterwards. Well, next time, maybe I should read it for you. I'm a great reader. Is that the book version of Princess Bride? You know what? It probably is. And Princess Bride is a fantastic movie. Hey, what's up, Noctemu? Critters. Alright. Let's proceed. Going to be fine. Yeah, just take an edible and you'll relax. <laughs> oh, alright. Bullshit. Bullshit. I know we've only been working on it for a couple of weeks, but we wanted to give it a shot. Aw, look at Elytra. She looks so scared. Uh, You're gonna try your best. I think I can do this. I'll just remember to take deep breaths. And I'll be supporting you. Oh, thanks, Dondax. No, oh, okay. I guess I didn't record that part of the line. I'm glad we're friends. I wish I could do more than just see you off here, though. Mm. This is a good learning experience. I'm nervous, but I think I need to spread my wings. Otherwise, I'll just keep putting it off forever. Hey, you're right. I'm glad you're staying positive about this. Thanks for seeing me off, at least. No matter how it goes, you're facing your fears, and that's incredible. I'm really proud of you. Also, here's this, uh, picture, all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay. Alright, we have a set. It's part of our sensory kit. Let's see. Picture of young Dondax and Moth in a locket. Oh, cute. Oh, God! Wait. I see that there's a flower over here that we can bounce off of. Are we supposed to go this way? I have no idea if I'm even going the right way. Because we kind of just ditched Dondax. Oh, 
Oh, the music changed. Is that club music? Are we going to a rave? Oh, hell yeah, dog. Dude, the best place for a moth to go to would definitely be a rave. Oh, All those hello. lights. Yeah, you've been making progress. It probably won't, but that's okay. <laughs> As someone who's had anxiety their entire life <laughs> and still has it, that's not a bad thing. You develop ways to cope with it, and the the more you learn and face your fears and all that, the easier it gets. Honestly, probably never will completely go away. Exactly. <laughs> But you're improving, uh, and you have friends to help support you, like that nice beetle fellow. And if you ever want a place to practice being a round bug, you're free to hang out at my shop and just bug watch and share a bowling extra. And bugs like us have to stick together and support one another. Of course. Thank you so much. I like you too. You're a good bug. Oh god, wait! I don't want to leave! <laughs> Alright, let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh... I've got a bit picky with my fanfiction over the years. <laughs> I do animations, drawing music and stuff, though the subscriber follows and unfollows my content, it's super hard for me to keep going. I totally feel that, Marla. And the best advice I can give you is just keep doing it. Whether you're doing it for one person, a hundred, a thousand, or a million, doesn't matter. Just keep doing it. Eventually, you'll start developing an audience. It takes time, and it's different for everyone. Poor nervous bug mood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, good voice acting. Ah, oh, thank you, Noctmio. Love the art, too. God, my thumbs aren't coordinated. That makes two of us. Uh, I speak from experience. A rave is not a good place for anxiety moth. Too much sensory input. You know what? You're absolutely right. I have come back simply to say that I want to let people give me requests for chew drawings. You know what? You should draw chew in a train. And they're saying chew, chew. Huh? Huh? Am I a good bug? I'd say you're a good bug. Yeah, I agree with uh, Hat Kid there. You're a good bug. Alright, let us continue. Oh yeah, we're going to the party! Let's go! Cry cry? What, what, why would I want to cry cry? I was here. No. She's looking nervous. No. Don't get nervous, Elytris. You can do it. I need a flower petal thing, please. Is there one over here? Oh, I can't go over there. Okay, never mind. Oh, yes. Here we go. Whew. I wonder if there's more over here. How do I... Okay, that's what I do to flutter. No, there's nothing over there. Okay. I gotta hurry up. Because <laughs> the anxiety monster is about to... Does this not move? Okay, I guess not. What? Oh, I'm supposed to push it. Okay. <laughs> I know how to game. There we go. <laughs> Drown. <laughs> I did. Hey there, little bug. Ready to crack the party, I see. Are you meeting up with any friends there? Uh, I'm getting better at making more friends. I am the best at making friends, so maybe I can make some tonight? Oh, no, I I'm going alone, but I'm hoping to meet some new bugs. That's wonderful, little bug. Crack's parties are perfect for finding others you click with. 
<laughs> Cracks pa crack parties are perfect for finding others you click with. Now that's a quotable right there. <laughs> so if you want to make friends, just go to a crack party. <laughs> Still working on your anxiety, though, right, little bug? Uh, did she bring any of her uh, sensory toys? I hope. Uh, yes, it's been hard, but I'm trying, and your trinket has been helping. Ah, okay, good. I'm glad. It's nice to see you push yourself, but it's okay if you need a break. What is that thing in Aragog's pocket? Is that like a flashlight? Is that a glass? Is that a pallet? Or those things that you use to like spread whipping on like cake and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I forget what that's called. A spreader? Is that a spreader? If you get too overwhelmed, there's no shame in leaving and trying again later. Uh, oh! Okay. Have a nice night. Electra, nice to see you out and about. I heard that crack party is going half. Yeah, that's the perfect thing to tell someone who's anxious. No, everyone loves a packed crack party. Ah, I was trying not to think about that. Listen, Elytris, I've been to a packed party before. Not a crack one. But there's no shame in sticking yourself in a corner. That's what I do. But you'll be fine. You've been practicing. Yes. Uh, I'm heading there now, but I'm pretty nervous since it's my first party. That's exciting. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun and make some new friends. I hope so. I know so. Enjoy. Wait, why are you two out here? Shouldn't y'all be at the party? Or are y'all just pre-gaming it right now? Is that what's in your bag? You got some pre-game juice? <laughs> you got some, uh, Bug Keela? Whisk Bug? Whisk- I'm sorry, I'm terrible with bug puns. Uh, my autistic ass would not survive at a rave. <laughs> Same. I've only been to one rave and... It was in incredibly overwhelming. I didn't last. <laughs> it looks like a hammer, maybe a mallet. Oh, okay, it does. Aragog feels comforting. Yeah, she's, she's actually great. Earlier in the game, she gave us uh, a little trinket, a little sensory toy. Uh, I have gone through the same thing when I was starting on my channel. I found that it is best not to pay mind to the number of subs and follow increasing and focuses on those. Yeah, I I'd agree. You know, the main reason I have a YouTube channel is because you enjoy creating content, putting it out there. The, the audience will come. Do we forget to pack out teas and favorite stuffy? Uh, I got all my favorite stuffies. I'll be honest, I hid in the coat room for six hours at my mom's 40th because it was too peeply for me, and because I was hiding, I missed my early ride home. Hated every second of it. Aww. That actually reminds me of a story. I was still in uh, university. I was the best man at my friend's wedding, and so we all went to his house to spend the night before we made the drive to where the wedding would be. And there was about 10 people there, and they were all partying it up and drinking and stuff. And my anxiety got so bad, I literally told them, Hey dude, I'm just gonna drive home, sleep at home, and then I'll come back. <laughs> I only live 20 minutes from you, don't worry about me. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> so I completely understand. I was lucky enough to have known how to drive at the time. So that's another benefit of knowing how to drive. If things get too much, you could just drive away. Alright. Let us brave our fears. Elytris, let's go to the party. You can do it, baby. Oh, flower. Ah! No! Come back! I 
What the flower? I can uh, double jump. Yeah, I wonder if these flowers that we're getting. I, mean, I know they say it's her favorite flower. I, I wonder if she eats them or just smells them, puts them in a tea. Her <laughs> riot? Oh god. <laughs> All right, I guess we're starting a riot. You know, that's that's fun. That's exactly what an anxious bug would love to do. What the hell? There's... <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> She's like, on second thought! Sorry, partner. The elevator's a bit busted. You'll have to wait while I fix it. Wh what? What? What elevator? I just fell like five stories. Hey! You're out! Right? Two minutes! Finally made it. The music sounds pretty great, right? Why is there a time limit? <laughs> the music? Uh, I don't really listen to this stuff. But would she be offended? Uh... It's not the end of the world if I disagree. Agreed. If you don't like a type of music, that's totally fine. Like I always say, you are, it is okay to disagree on things and to not like what I like or anybody else likes. That's totally fine. Just don't be a dick about it. I don't need to like the same music as others. If they get upset, that's not my fault. Exactly. Oh, uh, this music isn't really my cup of tea. That's fair, partner. What type of music do you like? Heavy metal! Someone remind me of these bands. I have to, I have to look them up. The Crane Flywives and Lady Bird and Red. They sound incredible. I mean, if Elytris likes them, they have to be good, right? Uh, let's see. I had a sensory overload at school. The class was so loud, so I froze and was still for 40 minutes. I couldn't really talk because I was scared. Aw. I've learned how to deal with parties somewhat. Plop yourself in one of the most quiet spots. Do not leave that spot. People are free to come up and talk to me, but I'm not moving. This is Spook's Perch. <laughs> yep, that's essentially what I do. Or I go to one of my friends that I'm very close to, and they kind of help me relax a little bit. But yeah, parties where I don't know anybody, yeah, I... It's very common for me to just stay in the same place and not talk <laughs> at all. Family meetups make me very uncomfortable and I get serious anxiety. There were times where I wanted to escape to have space but my grandma would drag me back to socialize. You know what, Nate? That is a mood. <laughs> that is a very Mexican family thing. <laughs> Especially when I was younger. My, my mom or my grandma would be like, Is there, hey, hey, why, why are you just in your room? Come and say hello to the family. Oh, no, I don't want to. Or, hey, your, your cousin's in his room. Why don't you go in there and meet him and, and you know, get to know each other? No! <laughs> uh, not everything is for everybody, and that's okay. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself, sock bat. You're my favorite kind of bat. Well, that's definitely Lady in Red. Yes. <laughs> I mostly would bring me drawing stuffs when I go to a party. It's like my comfort thing to do. That's cool. Back then, I used to have an iPod Touch, and I had, like, Sonic games on it. I would play Sonic CD at parties. Right now, of course, I don't have that anymore, but I have my phone. And that works. <laughs> I think I've heard of those. We should listen to some of their music together, and maybe test the new invention I'm working on. Yeah, that sounds real nice. Oh, I, I wanted to thank you for the stopwatch you gave me. I said it's been helpful for my anxiety. Really? 
How so, partner? Oh, I love how Venatoria calls Elytris her partner. That's adorable. She also has the neck floof. Well, it's actually pretty loud. Uh, at least louder than most thumb watches. But if I have trouble breathing, I can use the watch to help me take deep breaths. Wow. I'm glad my gadget was helpful to you. Hey, if you ever need any other useful invention, come over to my place and just ask, you hear? You got any anti-anxiety medication? Oh, okay. Oh, I do. It's called the Devil's Lettuce. <laughs> come back here in two minutes if you want to leave. I'll have it fixed by then. Ah, that's what the two minutes is for. Although now it says a minute fifty nine seconds. Where did our where did that second go? Did, what? How? Where did it go? All right, time to socialize. I'm assuming we're at the party now. Hmm. What brings me to this party? This doesn't seem like the type of place you normally hang out. You're here to make friends. I guess I'm here to make friends, or at least practice talking to bugs. I don't normally go to parties or talk to other bugs, but that's why I'm here to practice. Very commendable, working to further oneself, and what a splendid place to do so. There are many a bug with many a story here, so who knows what hidden wisdom you might find. Ah, yes. I remember you now. You're the moth I gave that cloth to all those weeks ago. And now I hear you are well on your way through a fine adventure. A adventure? I, I don't know if you could call it that. Aren't those supposed to be something grand with important characters? Oh, Leatrice, you don't know, do you? Perhaps. But aren't you setting off with a goal in mind? Facing challenges and monsters of your own? At the end of your journey, won't you find yourself changed and grown? Never think your own challenges are worthy of an adventure. Thank you, Miss Silk Moth Lady. Silk moth, uh, silkworm. Oh, have we met hey, this person before? What are you standing around here for? Come dance. Oh God, <laughs> dance! <laughs> oh Lord. Nah, I don't. I don't. I, I don't dance. Do you? <laughs> exactly, Alicia. Wait, dance? You know what? It might be fun to try something new. I just want to see... I want to see Elytra's dance. Uh, I don't dance. But if it goes badly, at least I can say I tried. Exactly. But mostly, I just want to see you dance. Okay, but are you sure? I'm not a very good dancer. So what? I'm not very good either. Really? Yeah, but it isn't really about being good. It's about moving around, having fun, and enjoying music with friends. Oh, uh, I guess this makes us friends, yeah? Totally. And look at you. You're not so bad if you stop overthinking. Wait, they're dancing already? This? No, we can't see her dance. <laughs> the text is blocking. <laughs> Thanks. Y you too. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, platforming. Listen, as long as there aren't any balloons, I am perfectly fine with this. Alright, so I guess we're just going around talking to whatever bugs we happen to find. Oh, hey! That's you! Electris, right? Wanna try some homemade moss bibs and petal chips? Trust me, they are very delicious. 
That just sounds like drugs. All right, let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, most parties I'm forced to attend are ones with my neighbors. They understand I'm a nervous bug, so they aren't mad if they don't see me. But it means I've only got my mom. And yes, I bring my drawing equipment if I can. Well, at least they're understanding. That's good. That's... That's a really nice thing to have. I use a weighted blanket when I'm scared. My mom gave it to me for my sensory issues. I've heard really great things about weighted blankets. My sister has one of those too. She uses it quite a bit. It says it helps her, helps her with her anxiety. <laughs> you got any anxiety meds? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, now I make dessert for me dad tomorrow, so I may stay in the background for a bit. Okay, what are you making? Yeah, when my anxiety gets bad, I would refuse to talk. That's very natural. <laughs> Silk moth me. <laughs> oh, she's so little. Bless this moth. Yes, I, Elytris is literally a sweet bug. At weddings, my aunts would drag me to the dance floor to join in on the fun. <laughs> uh, that's another story. When I was very, very young, I was supposed to be one of the kids that would, like, hold up the, uh, the bride's veil or walk down the aisle with my aunt at, when she was getting married to my uncle. But I was so scared I refused to do it. That same day at the reception, this little girl out of nowhere pulled me to the dance floor because she wanted to dance with me <laughs> I immediately like yanked my hands away and ran over to my mom <laughs> and hid behind her <laughs> yeah I, I don't dance that's a thing I don't do it was somewhat fun with the earplugs oh earplugs are a godsend all right let's try some moss dip and petal oh, chips I'm not sure. But you want to try new things. Listen, if it goes bad, I'm pretty sure there are restrooms where you can puke. That's what going to the party is all about. Trying things. It wouldn't hurt to try and buy some new things. Exactly. Sure. It's actually like laced with LSD. Here you go. Oh, wow. You made it yourself? Yep, and from all homegrown ingredients, too. I've always wanted to try cooking, but it seems pretty hard. Damn near impossible. That's why the microwave is your friend. Maybe you could join Faria and I sometime. We, or at least I, could teach you. Damn, he, he just straight up roasted their friend Faria. Like, at least I could teach you. Faria is terrible. <laughs> Look at you, Elytris, making friends and making plans. Alright, we gotta find more bugs to do the social with. Don't, 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 don't want- Hey, oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey there, little bug. How's the party been? Ah, text box, you're covering the bee! Oh, no. I think I've seen this bug before. I mean, honestly, same. I don't even remember meeting this bug. But there's no harm in asking. She won't get upset if I can't remember. I'm just catastrophizing again. Catas what? Catastrophizing. Catastrophizing. Castrate Pfizer. Dear, and you're Electris from the market a couple of weeks ago, yes? You recognize me from that? I keep an eye out for any new faces around the market, but you took off in such a rush, I was so worried. She just really had to go to the bathroom. And the bathrooms at the marketplace are for paying customers only. 
Oh, I have social anxiety, but I've been working on it and it's been getting easier. That's wonderful news. What is? The fact that she's working on it or the fact that she has social anxiety? <laughs> like, oh, that's wonderful that you have social anxiety. <laughs> Uh, the one my mom got me to make is a no-bake Oreo square bar. I don't know, but it sounds yummy. Oh, dude, anything with Oreos is definitely going to be yummy. I would have some. Oh, bless Lil Dish. Oh, God, yeah, that, that, little, that little fucker. <laughs> hey, man, I love cooking and baking. Uh, usually, Cooking Cat makes my food. Yeah. <laughs> Their name is on the wall, Leechers. <laughs> Don't castrate the moth. <laughs> uh, Leechers, you're not alone. I forget names very easily. I have to be around them long term to remember. Oh, dude, same. When I got the current job that I have right now, when I first got the job, it literally took me over a year and a half to remember all of the waiters' names. Like, I had been there for a year, and I would still be like, Oh, dude, uh, I was supposed to collect tip money from you. What was your name again? And they're like, Dude, you've been here for how long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have terrible memory with names. Feed dish the food through the screen. Yes, just throw it in the screen and I'll slap my face. Hopefully in the mouth area. Oh, I remember this guy being kind of a dick. Ugh. Why am I even at this silly party? Hey, you. Lost or something? You know, for a guy who has the word lamp in their name, you're not very pleasant. Uh, why me? <laughs> you know what, Elytris? Because I led you there. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Don't assume he means the worst. Exactly. That's a bit rude. But maybe he means something else? Uh, I I'm not lost. I mean, this is Crack's party, right? This is the party with all of the crack, right? No. I just meant you've never been to one of these things, right? Yeah. It's nice to know there's someone here as. Ah, so he's probably anxious too, and he 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 uh, expresses his anxiety through being kind of a butt, being kind of angry. Hey, listen, I, I do that sometimes too, so I, I get it. Oh, is, is this your first party too? Not in general, but um, here, yeah. If you believe the party will suck. Then it'll actually suck. But if you try to have fun, it's actually not that bad. Unless it's a party about vacuums. Or with mosquitoes. Then the party will literally suck. Also, I'm glad I haven't run into any mosquitoes in this game. That's literally on site. Alright, them motherfuckers gonna die, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same thing with wasps and hornets, man. Fuck them shits, man. Them fuckers gonna get a face full of rage. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so you're actually cooler than I expected. That's good to do. No, I want the flower. Got it. Is that a dead teddy bear? Hey, look, it's this guy. Alatrus, right? Nice to see you made it. Oh, this is the guy with the crack. All right, crack. Where's the good stuff? <laughs> what do you think of your first party a la crack? Only cool, right? <laughs> first party a la crack. Pretty good, right? Oh.
I just saw the word in the back says lit. <laughs> lit as in lamp, of course. Uh, you could just be honest. I don't have to change my opinions because I want other buddies to like me. Exactly. It's loud and a lot, but I'm having a lot of fun talking to the buds here. I'm told I tend to go a bit overboard planning. So sorry about that. You're a pretty busy bug, so I'm glad you were able to come. Uh, actually, I haven't come before because I have social anxiety. Redondax has been helping me work on it, so I wanted to try going to your party. You're pretty tough, you know? If I had known, I probably would have put together something a bit more relaxed. That's very nice of you. You're cool, Crack. You're cool. I like you, Crack. <laughs> That's always going to make me laugh. Oh my god, okay. Just get on the... There we go. Is that everybody? I guess that's everybody that I could have talked to. So do I just leave now? I mean, it hasn't been two minutes yet. But it's been close. Run, Elytris! Run! Oh, I think the elevator should be fixed by now. I can make the party if I want to. I just need to head back to where Venatoria was. And I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> get all of the flowers that party was a lot. oh my goodness so many flowers so loud and there were so many bugs and i kept bumping into bugs who wanted to talk to me oh god what the hell <laughs> i also kept falling and breaking my ankles <laughs> sure did, Elytris. You sure fucking did. I actually went to a party, and I think I had fun! <laughs> oh, you, she's so sweet. I love this bug. To be fair, it was still pretty scary. We are getting so wasted right now with all of these flowers. <laughs> I did it! I pushed through, and I think I had some good conversations. I did. There we go. I love how you just have to be against a piece of wood in order to fl flutter pretty much infinitely. Fun. Oh hey, soda can. Good night, Alatris. What good night? But it's it's daytime. Wait. Do moths sleep at night? Or during the day? Spook, enlighten me. <laughs> uh, party a la crack. Uh, there, let me see. Let me get up here. This probably, pro this party probably does have mosquitoes. Bug racism! <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm speaking as a human, alright? Not, not a fan of uh, wasps and hornets. <laughs> Uh, finally finished the chew art and has posted in the fridge. All right, I'll check it out after stream. Ah, yes, Daddy Bear. Huh? Huh? Everyone sounds so lovely. It's sweet. Yeah, I like how everyone is nice. 
And you know what? That is the nice thing about getting older. You know, that is as a current old man, <laughs> adult, the older you get, the more understanding people become. And so when you do have like issues like anxiety and depression and all that, there is a very high chance you will not be judged for it. And in fact, you might meet some people that have the same thing. And because you opened up to them, they might open up to you. That's been my experience at work in particular. I can't tell you how many people I ran into who also have depression like I do, or also have social anxiety like I do. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool and relieving to know that the older I get, the more understanding people become. Uh, let's see. Her laugh, I'm sobbing, she's just so Yes, she is indeed I'm taking my dad out to a Mexican restaurant tomorrow for Father's Day, and that's what we wanted for dinner. Oh, he wanted for dinner. Taco Bell. Ah, okay, that makes sense. She's nocturnal. Got it. Are they gonna kidnap her? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> well, I sleep during the day. Ah, that's true. It's like when you say goodnight and head home at 6 a.m., seeing everyone going to work. What's up, Matt? Welcome to the stream. And God, that was my life not too long ago. Can we take a moment to appreciate how Dish always makes sure to read all the comments and makes a conversation about it? I mean, I, I do what I can, Hat Kid. I don't get to read everyone's, but I don't know. I, I feel like I do best when I play off of people and their comments better than me just talking for two hours straight, you know? Also, you guys are fun. You guys are interesting. You guys have interesting things to say, so I want to engage with you in that way. Also, there's currently only 11 of you. If there were like 100 of you, that would be kind of impossible. <laughs> but I try. I worked the night shift for 11 years. Oh, suck that. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Oh, okay. I guess I'm literally going to bed now. Okay. Maybe I can try drugs. <laughs> God damn it, Alitra's quit being so cute. Oh, that's the end of the game. Okay. Well, it was a nice, short, sweet game. I enjoyed that very much. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, it's also sweet. What is candy, honey? Uh, dish is always sweet. I don't know. I taste kind of salty, to be honest. Just ask my my sister's dog. <laughs> I get what you're saying, and I appreciate that. Thank you. But like, seriously, every, every time I visit my sister at her apartment, her dog, she has a nine-year-old golden retriever, sweetest dog ever, but he always licks me. Like, he will not stop licking me. My legs, my arms, my face. I'm the only person he does this to. He only licks me, and for like, handfuls of minutes at a time. It's like, bro, am I really that good to you? What, what flavor do you pick up from my skin that you don't from other people? He doesn't lick my sister. Doesn't lick her husband. Doesn't lick my mom. Just me. I don't get it. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me all that much, honestly. It bothers my sister more. <laughs> Uh, let's see. YouTube chat does have slow mode if things start to go too fast. You're right. I mean, for now, it's fine, though. Because, again, there's not 
very many people in here, so I'm totally cool. Uh, still, Dish, you give the stream a comfortable vibe. Thank you, Stardrop. Honestly, that is my goal. I want to make as many people as possible to feel comfortable to, you know, just come and chill and say and share with other people whatever they want. You know, as long as they're comfortable. Yeah. Like, if I were to throw a party IRL, it would be a chill, relaxed party. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a... Like, board game night or something. You know what I mean? Or maybe, like, I'd have, like, games going on somewhere and then board games somewhere else. And maybe just another place with comfy chairs where you can just chill with a tablet or something. I don't know, that's kind of more my vibe, rather than, like, a rave. <laughs> I want to hug the bug. Same. Maybe a s maybe you should try me me Meowth? Oh, Mothmeth. <laughs> Mothmeth. A tasty dish. Oh, yes. A uh, quick question, is this the moth game? This is one of the moth games. Uh, obviously, it was really short, so I'm going to switch over to another moth game that I have purchased. So I'm gonna bring that up right now. Uh, where's my folder? Ah, there it is. Nope, that's the wrong folder. Dish. I literally have a folder on my desktop and it says in capital letters moth games I opened the folder that says video games like dude <laughs> uh, and then there's me in the corner drinking ketchup Nate I already said if I ever see you I'm making sure I'm getting rid of and or confiscating from you any kind of container with ketchup. <laughs> uh, last time I hosted with friends, we set up a board game escape room and ended up watching cartoons. It was fun. That does sound like a lot of fun. Love the Atlas moth on your head. Oh, that's the kind of moth that I got there. Honestly, I just typed in moth. Saw that one. And I was like, all right, cool. Okay, I'm gonna actually go to sleep now and dream about Chu. Ah. Alright, so the next game I'm gonna pull up is called. Um, it's called. Oh god. Wait, where'd it go? Ah, here it is. It's called Space Moth DX. I guess it's like some kind of shooter. So this is going to be a lot more exciting. <laughs> And action-packed, I think. Oh, and it's full screen. Here, let me actually... Uh... Let's see, what was it? Alt-Enter. Ah, oh, hold on. Next page. Aha, screen mode. That is really tiny. Okay, that's a lot better. What is going on? No, that's not what I wanted. Go back to the tiny one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just figuring out technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now let me switch. Um, let me switch screens here so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Why hasn't the stream switched yet? What's going on? Oh, it's just really slow. <laughs> mm. I would end up being in a closed door for a party. Ah, closed door parties? Is that what you meant? I hope so. 
All right, so yes, here it is. Space Moth DX. It's basically a, a shoot 'em up. So we're gonna give this a try. Moth with a gun. Exactly. Hmm, should I learn how to play? Nah, let's just jump right in. <laughs> yes, it's a bullet hell. <laughs> it's Space Invaders, but with bugs. <laughs> exactly. So, screw it. We're just going to hop right in. Play a Space Moth. Not unlocked. No, yeah, I want to play a Space Moth. Autobomb? What? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, full disclosure, I'm not the best at these types of games, so I'm going to die a lot. Okay. Survived. <laughs> I really hope the, the hitbox on this moth is really tiny. Because I haven't gotten hurt yet. I don't think! No, okay, I definitely got hit there. Why am I not dead yet? I should be dead, like, hella good by now. Oh no, I got hit! Alright, I'm back! Is that a pretzel? Give me the pretzel! Yes! I didn't get the pretzel, why didn't I get the pretzel? I wanted the pretzel. Moths eat pretzels, right? I mean, Spook uh, enlightened me on this. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, I think I get it. I think that little star in the middle of my moth is actually my hitbox. No, I died! <laughs> ah! Oh god, I apologize if you guys are sensitive to colors. I didn't think it was gonna be this crazy. Put, put, heaven, put it, that. Okay. Warning, boss approaching. Already? Oh god, okay. Oh Jesus. I'm honestly just focusing on the projectiles that are being shot at me. Because it doesn't really matter where exactly I shoot! It seems to be hitting the boss, which happens to be a butterfly. Which... No! I mean, typical, right? Of course it would be a butterfly. Oh, I got hit again! No! No! Did I do it? I did it! Let's go! Fudge. <laughs> Alright, hold, hold on. <laughs> I need a second to, to collect myself. Uh, cherry Blossoms. So is there a particular reason why you're playing moth games, or is it just because you can't? What's up, C? Welcome to the stream. And... It's both. It's because I wanted to, and I wanted to because moths are great. I love how it just starts you off with a spread gun. Dude, I it's amazing. You know, this is on normal difficulty, so I wonder if on the harder ones they don't. But uh I don't I don't do hard modes. I guess the goal is to defeat the butterfly monsters. <laughs> yes. I eat pretzels good with either peanut butter and chocolate. Delicious. I think you can get hit on the wings, just not your body. Ah, yes. I figured that one out. <laughs> Soul drained Emmys. Moths are great. Thank you. They are. And now we're dealing with mini bugs. They look like ladybugs to me. So the first boss was a butterfly. And now we're dealing with ladybugs. And that's a big moth. Brother, why are you fighting me? We must join forces to... Oh, God! <laughs> I, I lost all of my lives already. It's only the second level. Oh, my God. I mean... Oh. Seriously? Wait, do I only have one life left? Is that how this works? How do I collect more lives? Is that what the pretzels are? Oh god. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. Good night. Alright, I can have a good sleep. You know, 
I should probably get ahead of the curve and just shoot these bugs before they shoot too many things at me. There we go. See, this is the strategy. See, I like... For these types of games, I normally like hanging back. I lost sight of everything! <laughs> but I think in this case, I have to go a bit... I have to go a bit more on the offensive. <laughs> oh, lord. Okay, here we go. See, this is what I gotta do right here. I just gotta move around kill these enemies before they kill me. Oh my god, how do you... How do you devoid de that? Ah! Okay. Don't move back, Dish. Keep, keep, keep it, keep it in the middle. Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is not, this is not good. This is not good, Green. I didn't, but... Aha! You thought, bitch! But you didn't. You thought, but you didn't do. Isn't that the, the quote from Star Wars? You thought, but you didn't do. <laughs> oh my god. This is the second level! <laughs> Maybe the tutorial would have helped. You know what? You're absolutely right. Let's let's actually do the tutorial and see what happens. Cause I see that I have a bomb that I can throw. I have no idea what the bomb does. So let's uh, let's click how to play. Hitbox, blah blah blah. Hitbox, safe, danger. Move the bot in eight directions to avoid bullets and enemies. Use laser bomb and rapid shot. Rapid shot, laser. Uh. Soul drain enemies turn neon and become more aggressive. Okay. How do I use the other things though? No continues. There's a temporary record of your position. The time fall lives are lost. You have the option to load player state. This will restore you to the condition of the most recent player state. Oh damn. Okay. So I have a rapid shot, which I've been using. I have a laser. I wonder what button the laser is. Let's see. Press new laser button? What? No, I... I didn't mean to do that, I just... Okay, I guess I just set it up myself? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm a little confused, but all right. I think the Star Wars quote is, this is no try, only do, but I could be wrong. Ah. Okay. Oh, that's my, oh, that's my bomb. Okay, got it. And then this is my laser. I'm a fire in my laser. So I forgot what the difference between the laser and the bomb is. I don't know if one's more powerful than the other. Oh, my laser runs out. Okay. So I wonder if the laser is more powerful. Damn it, I lost a life already. That one, that one too bad. Maybe I should save my laser and my bombs for the boss? I ran into that. No! <laughs> How do I collect these things? I see things that I can collect, but it doesn't let me. Yes, 
fire the laser at the lady but ladybug butterfly oh god wow I actually did worse this time than I did the first time I played because I died all lost all my lives already damn it <laughs> so wait did I waste my bomb already when I tried it earlier I definitely should have saved that for this. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, dude. We beat this once already. You can do it again. Wait, can I press both attacks at the same time? Apparently not. Oh god! actually did it. <laughs> bonus items collected. I don't know how to collect the bonus items. <laughs> I tried running into them, but it didn't work. Okay, we're back here. So you know what? I'm just gonna use this thing. This seems to make light work of everything. Stay in the middle of the, of the, the screen and not let the purple balls touch me. I do not want to touch purple balls. Oh, we're attacking the beetles now. No, I got further this time. Damn it. Okay. I almost ran into one of their projectiles. Don't go backwards, Dish. Just, just stay here, alright? Switch to the laser. Oh god! What is that?! Want to touch the purple balls can't relate. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, maybe the beetles were killing you before. Perhaps. All right, I'm gonna give it a couple more tries, and then we're gonna look at uh, one more moth game that I've got. Nope, don't, not save that one for later. For these little guys, we're gonna use the spread shot. Now we use this. And then we die. <laughs> God, so that's pretty tough. As, as soon as you lose all your lives, you can continue, but you continue from the last, your last safe state, which is your very last life. That's, uh, that's pretty hardcore, I must say. Last time that I will play this game, and then we'll move on to something else. Just gotta dodge all of. This is going to be the very last time, right here, right now. 
I'm gonna get further than this. I'm probably gonna go farther than I've ever gone before. Mark my words. These ladybugs got nothing on me and their stupid purple balls. Yeah, look at me go. You can't touch me with your purple balls. Look at that. You can't do nothing to me, bitch. I have the power of God and raid on my side. And I lost it. <sighs> Alright. That's enough of this game. <laughs> it's a fun game. I'm just terrible at it. Alright. Let's look at the last moth game that I have. Uh, let's see. Where is moth games? There it is. You can just ignore them. And then they die when they get to the bottom of the screen. That is true. But, I don't know. That's not fun. Alright. So. Oh, I actually have more than one uh, moth game left. But, I'm getting close to time. So, the last game we're going to try is this game called Marimoth. I don't remember what kind of game this is. And it is also a full screen game. Let's see. Uh, Marimoth. There it is. No, not Mary. Mary. Like M A R I. <laughs> I mean, you'll see in a minute. Yep. Bip, bip. Okay, that's about as centered as I can get it. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, so yeah, there's... Alright, let me, uh... That's not what I wanted, game. Am I not able to window it? I guess not. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's there. Let me pull up this. Okay. There is a moth in my house, and I can't catch him to let him back outside. What's up, Rose? Welcome to the stream. I've had so many moths in my house, I gave them names. <laughs> and, like, I've used to do that before, too, like, try to get them outside. But it got to a point where it was like, you know what, whatever, I'm not even going to try anymore. Ah, good. Not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> Alright, so, let's get back to Mary Moth. Ready, start! Um... Oh, okay, so this is kind of like Space Invaders. Like, literally like Space Invaders. But with mothballs. We are shooting mothballs at... What are these? Eyeballs? I'm not quite 100% sure what these things are. Okay, so all the buttons do the same thing. It's a just a simple attack. That goes diagonal for some reason. I can't move up or down either. I can only move side to side. So it's very similar to the last game we played, but not as difficult, I think. <laughs> it is actually a lot more manageable. Here I'm just... I just have one plane to worry about, one plane of movement to worry about while everything else moves around. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, I gotta destroy you. Okay, there we go. Alright, cool. I like the music, it's very relaxing. It's like an upbeat, relaxing type of music. Like, I would... I would go to the beach with a nice, cool, fruity drink in my hand to this music. That's the kind of vibes I get with this music. Yes, my boff balls ricochet and hit those eyeball things. Not even sure what they are. They kind of freak me out a little bit, not gonna lie. Okay, there we go. Oh, I got hit? I didn't even notice I got hit. Alright, 
so this definitely also gives me mobile game vibes. <laughs> I feel like this this could probably be a game you can play on your phone or your tablet. You now it'd probably be advantageous just to stay in one spot and just keep shooting. <laughs> time, you know, I was wondering if there was going to be bosses or not. <laughs> oh god! No! I got hit! Am I even hurting this thing? Okay, I'm assuming I have to hit it in the face. in jail. I will free you. Yay! We freed the moth. Wait, where are you going? Oh, thank you. But why did you leave? Okay. Uh, let me re let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh Oh, the god, the moth's got a gun again. Yes. Space invaders but with a terrible weapon. Yeah, it doesn't shoot forward, so you gotta play the ricochet game. Eh, it's okay, I guess. I'm a fire in my lake. <laughs> I freed the moth. Where's my mouse? There it is. Okay. Now we're green. We we went to the next world and now we're green. I wonder what the coins are for, actually. I also have two marbles. Not sure what those are for. If that's like a special kind of ammo. Again, Dish probably should have read the, uh, the instruction manual, but of course he didn't. Oh god! How funny would it have been if the coins that you, that fall and you can collect were actually like little lamps? <laughs> or little light bulbs? <laughs> that would actually be really funny and cute. What? That dude's got... Like... A trail of something behind him. run into that moth again. They're really cute. It's a cute little moth. They had big eyes. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, see, so this is a difficulty spike I can get more used to. <laughs> ah, gotcha! Yeah, remember, I can only move left and right. I can't... America. Good. Good. 
Okay. That was, that was kind of stressful. <laughs> that, all right, cool. Bus time. It's an iguana. Fighting an iguana. Oh, it's getting closer. Where's that a kick? Oh god! Okay. He's got a he's the guy who's a fire in his laser. <laughs> Again? See, this is why you don't just fly away from me after I save you. Fly to me, and then we can go home. Psst. See? Now come over here. Don't go ahead and... <sighs> you know, the more you keep doing this, the more I have to keep beating bosses. Just saying. <laughs> You stupid moth. You're adorable. But you're not smart. Uh, it looks pretty similar to Galaga. Yes, it does. Galaga, Space Invaders, that kind of thing. Uh, makes you wonder if Dishwasher ever read their own instruction manual. Please. Also, the bullets matching up with the beat of the music is just... Was it? I didn't even... Didn't even uh, notice the lasard. <laughs> uh, I'm a dip for now. Wave of depression decided to wash over me. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. I hope it goes away soon. How to catch moths. Lamp, cage. Wait, why am I helping you do this? Oh, I already knew. I already knew. <laughs> All right, we're going to go through. Uh... We'll go through one more world and then we'll call it. We're in the blue world now. I wonder who our boss is going to be this time. I wonder if it's going to be nautically themed. Maybe like a... Like a whale or something. Or a crab. I mean, so far we've gotten a... Uh, we've gotten a lizard. We've gotten... What was the first one? Was that also a moth? It was some kind of winged creature. Some kind of insect. Oh, I got hit! So I wonder what this one's gonna be. Yeah, I see a lot of fish-themed things, so I'm assuming it's going to be a creature of the salty waters. It's shooting lasers! The fishes are shooting lasers! I did not learn about this species of fish in biology. <laughs> Where on the evolutionary tree did we miss the fish with lasers? <laughs> okay, this is a pretty good strategy right here. Just stay in the corner and I get twice the, uh, the firepower. Uh, I can't reach that one, though. I'm gonna have to move for this one. Come on! Eat the 
mothballs. I know you want it. Tasty, tasty mothballs. Alright, just got one more left. Come on. There we go. Back at the coin. Sweet. Not a fan of those that move and have like trails of squares following behind them. <laughs> oh god, I got hit again. I'm at my last hit point, by the way. This is not going to be, uh, this is not going well! And there's like no health to grab either. Jeez! I almost got hit by the football. <laughs> it looked like a football. The crab! What the hell? How have I never seen this crab before? Mr. Krabs! Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking the moth? He's just trying to save his partner. Okay, got him. Oh, Jesus, okay. Alright, so I think the strategy is just to survive the bullet hell while just shooting aimlessly into the void. You know, this wouldn't have happened if that stupid moth didn't just keep flying up whenever we saved him. Like, bro! Why do you keep flying away? Damn, so you have to beat the game in one go, huh? Well, I was unable to do that today, unfortunately. catch up with chat for the last time here um i was thinking it looked like brick breaker to be honest yeah i mean those are all very similar games hey blue moth it's me this time thought the first one was like a cricket or a grasshopper okay you might be right so now the fishes are firing the laser <laughs> uh i guess you can say the moth is in a Monogenism relationship. Monogen, 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 monolithicalingus. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> oh, you finished making dessert? Oh, perfect. Just in time. Because I'm ending things now. I don't know how to spiel and autocorrect this shit. Same. Autocorrect doesn't know, know Spanish. Every time I try to like text my mom or something, it always tries to like correct my Spanish. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for joining me once again. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Take care. Happy Father's Day. Uh... Don't eat mothballs. <laughs>